Yes, you are actually watching Judy Clark After Dark, and it's during the day. And we are on location. I am in this beautiful garden owned by my good friend, Connie Oswald Stofko. She actually is the author of an online gardening magazine. Welcome, Connie. Thanks, Judy. So I published the, uh, the online gardening magazine for Western New York. It's uh, BuffaloNiagaraGardening.com. Everything's local. Lots of tips and hints. Things that really work in our area. Full color photos and the most comprehensive list of gardening events in Western New York. It's free to subscribe. When you subscribe, it's emailed to you every Tuesday. Connie, how can it be free? That's so much. Oh, so I have local businesses that are my advertisers and my sponsors, plus I have my super readers. I was considering uh, doing paid subscriptions, but I, people love my magazine. They say they love it. I said, could you support me? I'm an iris. <laughs> I have different levels, and you can support me at, at the level you think, and I have some small thank you gifts uh, because I love, love, love my super readers. All right, Connie, I've got a gardening question for you. Do you really put your leaves out by the street? No, absolutely not. But there are people who do. Because what they do is they will, like, put the leaves in um, clear plastic bags. And they set them out to the curb. And then all you have to do, it's like Christmas. You just pick them up and take them home. And you actually pick the bags off of people's lawns? Oh, yeah. And my husband, one time, he came home at lunch hour, and he had four bags of leaves for me. And I was, it was so romantic because he knows what I want. I do not want a diamond necklace, but leaves, oh. So that was wonderful. I love him. What do you do with these leaves, Connie? Okay, so you can put them in your compost, make compost. This is great for your soil. Chop up the leaves and put them in your compost pile. Because if you don't chop up your leaves, if you just put them in whole, you're going to have whole leaves in your compost pile next year. So chop them up. You can just run them over with a lawnmower if you want. But don't they ruin your lawn? Oh, no, no, no. You can leave them on your lawn and just chop them up with your lawnmower and those little bits will fall into your lawn. That's good for your lawn. If you put them in your flower beds in the in the fall, don't you have to rake them out in the spring? Ah, you knew you should put them in the flower beds. Yeah, that's good for your perennials. I read the magazine. <laughs> good. And so that's, so you're going to protect your roots. Okay. All right, now show me how hot it is. Well, you can just put your hand there and you can feel the warmth. Oh, but if, wow. But if I stir it. Yeah, that, that's pretty warm. Wait, yeah. Wait, ooh, ooh, you just put your hand in there. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> now put your... Now put your hands in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is hot. You can even see the scorched pieces. <laughs> well, Connie, this has been great. Thanks. Thanks for joining me on my show, Judy Clark After Dark. It's great. Great and to we'll be see here you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.